What's up, everybody? It's your boy Sancho West, and this is episode 9 of this Sir Daniel's Quest for Black Belt, and we're about to kick it into overdrive. I'm going to release about two episodes, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So like, share, subscribe, tell your mom, pop, brother, sister, everybody about this great journey that we're taking with Sir Daniel. As you see, I am stuck on the upper levels of Green Belt in 83. I got my dragon armor on, and I am doing my best for you, amigos. Well, to be honest, I'm not doing this for any of you guys. I am doing this for my pal, my old buddy, old pal, Sir Daniel, because he deserves a black belt. And um, this is going to be a crazy because I'm trying to get the, you know, to make the buzzard, so to speak. I know they're about to reset the belts. Hopefully Santa Monica Studios does not do that because they just want to hate on Sir Daniel, our favorite dead knight. So here we got another Sir Daniel in the house to see what, how we do, see what Sir Daniel best one another, I think I'm the best one because I got my dragon armor on. And here in this Drake stage, it gets a little bananas in this little cargo area. Oh, you! How is that possible? Sir Dan, you're so slow. There's no way you could have grabbed me. Gotta give it to you for that, Sir Daniel. Ruining my uh, bread and butter special. But as I was saying, I'm a little out of breath because I'm excited for you guys because I'm going to go to overdrive. I got a lot of footage in the bank. And um, I'm gonna try to get all of that as out as much as possible. And you know, it's it's just a oh you boxes of craziness. As I was saying, got a lot of footage for you guys, and I'm gonna try to pump it out as, for, as best as possible for you with my work schedule and all my life schedule and whatnot. I'll I'll definitely do my best to help out the masses. And this Sir Daniel, I'm I'm trying to observe what he's doing. And it looks like um oh, I missed. Ooh! When you play against another Sir Daniel, for the tip for the Sir Daniel players out there, usually the bread and butter arrow combo is not going to work. Um, basically because of their shield. The shield will absorb the arrow. Oh! Kratos in your level 3. Kratos! Kratos Santos! Hua! Yeah! Oh! Dang! So when you have a mirror match between two Sir Daniels, the shield's going to be your friend. Uh, pull that out immediately. So that the arrows won't hit you in the battle axe, you could absorb all that. And oh wow, I'm getting worked. Oh, nice. I gotta give him that. That that's a great uh, confirm for the level two. You go ahead and launch it, and then obviously he grabbed me, and I got nothing to do. And he's trying to go battle axe. I battle axe you to death. Woo! Dodge that super there. Oh man, come on now. Come on, man. Boom, boom. So, as I said in another video that, you know, I don't do a lot of AP bursts with Sir Daniel. And, to be honest, it's because it's not possible. Come on, give it to me, cookies! Oh, what? Wow. Oh, the level three of the kitty cat. Why? Oh, goodness gracious. She is mopping the floor up. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow. Oh, whew. Always a tip, you don't want to die more than once during someone's level 3. If an opponent gets at least 5 to 6 kills with the level 3, it's pretty much game over. I would say for a free for all, you want to best first up to 5 or 6 is uh, pretty much the winner. And a lot of people like to get to that 5 and 6 using their level 3, so you know, it's it depends what's your strategy. Um, for me personally, Sir Daniel is a level 1 guy, level 1 to level 2. So you want to stay in that realm. I would avoid the level three in this stage. This is not a great stage for Sir Daniel's level three. There's not many. Oh, they killed two Sir Dan's. This is not a, a great stage for Sir Daniel's level three simply because it's too big. People can get away from him and it, they don't vaporize quickly enough from Sir Daniel's little green greenness. Ooh, nice little whiff there. And I'm getting punished by Kitty Cat. With her level one, and this is not a good match for me right out the gates, amigos. Let me see if I get some kills. Oh, uh, give me the cookies! Oh, oh, sneaky cat lady, whatever you are, making my bear sad. How dare you make my bear sad out the gate? Three and five. Mm, mm, mm. At least I'm better than the other Sarnail. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Whew. All right, we got Raidens and Emo Dante. Emo Dante, Emo Dante, gonna write a song, gonna write a song, I like the killers, 
and chemical romance. All right, guys, don't 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 comment me to death about hating on Emo Dante. Emo Dante needs to go somewhere else with this black eyeliner. He needs to go to Battleax. Take that, Battleax. So a lot of people, are you see here, rock the ratings. The ratings. Yeah, I like doing this. I like keeping people in the air when I'm doing the Dante. Give me this. Oh, come on. I want that kill, Emo Dante. A lot of people like the Ryans and Dantes, and I still, I still think. Boom! Woo! Clever, clever. Gonna use my platforms. They're my best friend. That's a great tip for you guys, Sir Daniel players. When you're on a platform with somebody else, just drop down to that level and pop them up in the head with your level one super, and you get that nice uh, mongoose type kill. Sir Daniel players, you gotta think about three, <laughs> you gotta think about five to six steps ahead of your opponent. You know, you're not gonna be able to uh, have some kind of a uh, advantage. You're always gonna be in a disadvantage in my book with Sir Daniel, especially in free for all. So, you gotta do what I do use the platforms as your friends, use the wall as your friends, and most certainly use that bread and butter confirm and uh, see what you can do eat best and try to develop. Boom! See that? Woo! I hit him with the arrow, I dropped down, it was gross nastiness action for you amigos. But as I was saying, Sir Daniel's sword has some great range and somebody commented um, a couple of videos back that I need to utilize that range a little bit more and they're right. When I first did my dojo sessions, I taught you guys a lot of things and BOOM! Platforms are Sir Daniel's friend! Well, that's, technically that wasn't a platform, but being below, period, being below underneath somebody is the best way to you know, for Sir Daniel to do his work. Oh no! No, 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 don't get me doing it! Woo! Emo Dante missed! Oh, what? Oh, come on! I've stopped your breakdancing with my shield of justice! My shield of truth and which box? Which box am I in? Am I in that box? Am oh, I am in this box. Oh, uh, writing's in his which box play. Mm mm mm. Take that. <laughs> the bees in our work. Oh, go away. Go away. What are you doing? <laughs> what, <am> I... <laughs> uh, what was I? I don't know what I was trying to do. I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Trying to go for the flash. Went for the flash and I got bashed. So in this level, in particular, when I'm talking about staying below the platforms, a lot of people like to hang out in that AP, whatever field or whatever that is. And that's a great opportunity. Give me some cookies. Oh, man. That's a great opportunity to sneak up some from somebody on below and hit them with that level one because they're not paying attention. When people go on that platform, for some reason, they get stupid. Oh, give me some triple. Oh, man. I'm going for the tripleness. I'm going to get to my level two. I'm going to get some nice kills to wrap this up this level. Wrap up this round. Let's go. Here it is. Ten seconds left. And gotta avoid the death. Avoid the death. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me, Dante. Did you get that because of those writings? Did you? Oh, good. Man. That last ditch effort. Emo Dante, why? Come on. Come on. Oh, really? I dropped down to 79? Oh, what? This is not good, amigos. I was so close to getting that purple belt, and looks like it's going to be a journey. But I, like I said, I want to show you everything. The good, the bad, the rawness, the injustice Santa Monica Studios does for Sir Daniel. We will get there to the promised land. I will take you to the top. I will take you to the mountaintop. And I am running out of things to say. Oh, what is this? I was on my rant, and I didn't pay attention. This is a rare one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Spike versus Sir Daniel, and uh, let's see, what can I say? Sir Daniel in a one-on-one -on -one contest, context, contest, is not, does not, in, does not favor Sir Daniel, and this, this Spike player right now is definitely, knows his, knows his Spike, I'm gonna give him that, and he's keeping me at bay, I use my shields, so I can absorb some AP, and <laughs> I don't know what Santa Monica Studios is doing, their net code, or net code, excuse me, Definitely, definitely mixes it up a bit. It's a fun little fact for Santa Monica Studios to keep messing with us. Sometimes you get team matches in free for all, and when you do rank, so I don't know how they're gonna rank this one, but it's one on one. Oh, I'm I'm getting antsy. It's 
I do do the tournaments. Uh, there's a lot of tournaments out there. Um, I know Elias Hero is running tournaments um, about mains and ladders and whatnot, and they usually do tournaments off of uh, the Reddit community. But there's, it's really hard to do uh, tournaments these days. A lot of the mods of the subreddit kind of left, or they moved on to Injustice, uh, which I don't blame them. I mean, this game does have a lot of problems, especially when you're trying to be competitive and you have to deal with the netcode and all the lag and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Check out a blog if you want to read about all that. I don't got, I ain't got time for that. This spike right now is 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 working me, and I'm trying not to let him get his level three because right now I feel like he's going for the flash. A lot of the level uh, people do one on one. Um, they go for that level three, and uh, you know I haven't played a lot of level one on one, so right now I'm struggling against this spiky spike on my home turf. But I'm just trying to get this spike in the air. Uh, that's where I. Uh, Dang. Gotta be patient. Gotta be patient. I'm down uh, very, very fast. And he's just throwing me to know what's in. I'm just... I can't get close. I can't get close to the spike. And uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just hitting random buttons. I'm flustered a little bit here. Oh, no, really? Oh, man. He built up that meter fast. Of course, it, I'm 30 seconds left. It's not good to have a level 2 in one versus one to be honest you want to kind of stick to your level ones the level twos are kind of um, in a sense are show off moves you know look at me build up my AP I'm gonna nail you uh, sometimes if you have a weak level one you could use your level two um, but I'm, I'm to be honest I'm not that experienced with one on one but boom see oh, yes mm. all right I'm down by one I got eight seconds I got one level one in the bank let me go ahead and cash it in. Let me go to the bank. Cash in my level one. Let's go on. The what? Oh. My bear sat. I had that. You saw that, folks. If he wasn't on that little incline, mm, I would have tied it up and we would have gone to some OT action. And Sir Daniel, there you go, folks. There's some footage of me on one versus one. And I, I could have got that victory if it wasn't for that little ledge. I'm still stuck in the Epple Green Belt. I got uh, Emmett here, Evil Cole, and Kratos. Kratos Santos. And we are in the last match of the episode 9. And once again, a reminder, I am going to go to Overdrive on these episodes. I want to release two a day. I got a lot of footage in the bank. And I'm trying to get there as high as I can. I'm, I'm <laughs> if you can... Go ahead and tweet Santa Monica Studios to, uh, tweet Santa Monica Studios. Excuse me, I had my puberty moment. No, I'm, I'm a grown ass man. Uh, tweet Santa Monica Studios and let them know, please do not reset the belts. I have them. one guy, Sir Daniel, going for the greatness of the black belt. But please do not reset it. Well, here we are in the dojo. Now, this is a stage that Sir Daniel's level three will dominate simply because they can't go anywhere. I said in past videos, I would get maybe four four kills, four to five. It's rare, really rare to get that fifth kill with his level three. So that's why I don't pull out the bank. Everybody's in the air. Get it to me. One, two. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. I need to, back in the day, when the orbs were a lot slower, they could maneuver or you could throw it in a tight space and it'll stay away from the wall. Um, get, get out of here. Get that AP out of Emmett. But now that they sped him up, the trajectory ends up hitting the walls. They don't have that much flexibility. And that's why I'm not a big fan of that update. A lot of people think I was crazy, but when they have sped up those orbs, mm -mm. no es bueno for my level two. And I am getting worked in this corner. I got to get out of this corner. The spin cycle, Emmett with those turrets. And, you know, Sir Daniel eats up those turrets for breakfast. It posed no threat to Sir Daniel, especially with the shield and his charging action. Boom, see that? Get out of here. It's important. Ooh, oh, wow. Ooh, okay. That was a strange exchange. I am learning that the new level two, Emmett's going to his mech here. The new level two, I gotta not, I have to not throw it like that. I can't throw it against the wall. I need to throw it either completely on the left side or on the right side of the map or in the middle. If I kind of throw it in the third quadrant, ooh, the third quadrant of the map, then yeah. that's what happens. It hits a wall or 
easy. Ah, you wasted your super. Oh, look at that. So I was saying, for, as you see, don't make the same mistake I am. You want to go ahead and throw out your level 2 super, at least in the middle or in the, in the corners. Um, get out of here with that shield charge. And it looks like we had someone drop out. And I got to hurry up and prevent anyone from getting that kill. Because people are going to go out there and hunt for that kill. And it's better me than anybody else. I know it can be considered a cheap tactic. But with this crappy netcode, it's... Oh, nice confirm there, Emmett. Nice confirm. I haven't faced a lot of Emmets in my day um, ever since he came out. But so so someone's going to get... Ooh, someone's going to get this kill. And you got to go and get it. And I know that's not a... Oh, yeah. Lucky there. Thank you, Kratos. Kratos. I think Emmett's got this kill. Oh, going for the level three. Come on, let's go. I didn't want to, but I was building it. I'm hoping I can get some kills right here. Come on. And Kratos is being a bastard. Come on. There's two. See, it's just not enough. See what I mean? It's not that great. It needs to be pumped up I don't know how maybe if I could tap like square during that process and shoot out some orbs maybe now that will be cool and that's not a victory for Sir Daniel looks like a lot of second place finishes the second part of this episode or episode 10 I would say is gonna drop later on today thank you guys for checking it out subscribe adios